This is pretty much everything I used. What do we have? 14, 17, 19, 21, 22. Some kind of wedge to open up the ball joint on the knuckle. Rubber mallet, because I love mallets. Impact just to move things along, and of course a ratchet. And an oversized adjustable wrench. First off, we're gonna replace the ball joint with a solid piece. Since the pivot moves down into the arm, I'm assuming that's the reason we do this. I don't understand any of this stuff, but let's see how it goes. Gave it a little grease and a few hammer wax. You can always try to spread this a bit before you put the bolt back in to retain it. Ball joint's done. Next part. So this is where the front bushing was, and this is the bolt that was used. This bolt, I'm actually gonna move to the rear, take this nut off, and use it with the new hardware. This hardware is the right size to fit right here. This one doesn't fit, because this is too thick. So you're going to trim off some of this boot here, and this side is going to sit flush on the floor of the car. And then this side is going to mate to that, which is going to sit like this in the rear. I'm going to tighten all these down as short as possible to start out, because I don't want to be pushing my CVs out any further than I have to. And then when I finally go to set up the car, I'll start playing with these see how much I want to extend them. Everything seems to reach, so don't worry about being too short initially. I'm going to go ahead and install the end link on the arm before I try to put the arm on the car. I just found it works easier when you're trying to bolt it to the sway bar. Put this onto the shank for the ball joint replacement. Just got that in loose. Also worked this in. I don't know, white line makes these end link shanks super long for the stud. Makes it kind of a pain, so it's easier to do the control arm first. And now I'm just lining up this. And the nice thing about it is you've still got plenty of play, so you can get all three of those lined up and finger tight uh, before you start on the rear, which is the fun part. Okay, so this is the fun part. This piece right here is going to wind up going up into the arm on the back side here. This will secure it to that. Fortunately, it can still wiggle a bit because of the ball joints and everything, so you'll be able to wiggle that into this space. Now this plate, it's kind of counterintuitive, is going to go something like this. So you're going to need to support your trans. You're going to take out this trans cross member bolt, you won't be reusing it. And you're going to use this sleeve as a spacer for the plate coming off here, and then run a bolt through it. So remember, I said we were taking the bolt off of here and we use the supplied hardware and we take this bolt and use that as part of this crazy setup here with the plate. So now you can see I just mocked everything up by hand. Why I did it in the order that I did it is now this all sits pretty easily and I can just tighten it down by hand to be safe and then make sure it's nice and snug. I've already got this in before I did all this. Got it mocked up, should be good to go. And there you go. Everything's snugged down. I'll have to set it up, so I'll probably wind up tinkering with it a bit. But yeah, you can see kind of how it all sits. It actually wasn't so complicated after all. I was kind of overwhelmed when all these random parts showed up, but it was actually pretty easy. We'll see how it does.